Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got a little bit of mess and a little bit of drama today for you guys. First, we're going to go ahead and do an update on Amy and Tammy Slayton. So it is now being reported, rumored that Tammy Slayton is actually going to get a divorce from her new husband. There has been signs on TikTok and from the beginning that this relationship just wasn't going to work out, but actually confirmed Amy is getting a divorce. Will these ladies ever find true love? What were the red flags there at the beginning? Let's talk about it. And then later on in the video, I wanted to do an update on Amberlynn's new video. We're going to talk about and break down her brand new vlog. Whatever she does, whatever our girl does, it seems as though she cannot stop gaining. What's the tea? What's the drama? All that and more coming up on today's edition of Girl Talk. Let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? All right, you guys. So for our first story, I did want to talk about the Slayton sisters, but more particularly Tammy. I don't know if you guys have followed them, but they have been on YouTube for like many, many years. I remember back in the day seeing them. Their first kind of viral video was the Chubby Bunny Challenge. And I feel like everyone has seen that meme, but nobody expected them to be where they are today, getting their very own TLC show that has now wrapped up its fourth season. There has been many scandals over the years surrounding the Slayton sisters. I mean, who could forget the GoFundMe for Tammy's coffin, which obviously was never needed. But on the last episode of Thousand Found Sisters, Tammy actually tied the knot to her husband, Caleb Willingham, and she had decided to go by Tammy Willingham. And they had met in rehab. Many people had kind of questioned Caleb's intentions. Was he just kind of clout chasing off of Tammy? This relationship, it feels like they definitely rushed things. And even during the wedding ceremony, it was the first time that Tammy's sisters actually even met Caleb. And during the dramatic season finale, they actually asked him if he was willing to sign a prenup because they didn't know what his intentions were with their sister. I guess Tammy's got it like that now. Now, but I don't blame them because there were so many red flags in this relationship. Like Caleb knew Tammy from TV and left his facility to go to the facility that she was going to be at after seeing her on the show. And just three weeks later, they got engaged. It was funny because Amy actually asked Tammy if she was pregnant and maybe that was why they were rushing along these nuptials. And this certainly wouldn't be the first time that Tammy has dated some questionable folks. I remember watching one of the earlier seasons and she was seeing this guy and he was kind of like feeding her alcohol. And there was another guy that wanted her to stay that same size. He didn't want her to get below a certain size, which is not good for Tammy especially with her life on the line. But it is pretty remarkable to see Tammy's transformation over the years. I mean, watching the first few seasons, it didn't seem like Tammy was ever going to get her stuff together. No matter what people said to her, she could just never stick to a plan. And there was always these people in the background kind of enabling Tammy not to take the accountability off of her because it really is down to her at the end of the day, but to see such a dramatic weight loss from her. A lot of people just didn't even see that coming and thought the worst for Tammy. Now, about their relationship, I can't say that I have seen anyone that was optimistic that this relationship was going to work out. They met in a facility. He lives in Ohio. She lives in Kentucky. There was a distance there and Tammy can't drive. So this relationship was seemingly doomed from the start. But people are now speculating that a divorce is on the horizon based on Tammy's TikTok page. Until recently, she had gone by Tammy Wellingham, which was Caleb's name, the name that she took. But now she goes by Tammy Slayton again on her TikTok page. So people are convinced that she's splitting from this guy. So an anonymous source actually shared with the U.S. Sun that uh, tensions are actually building between the couple because of this distance. And Caleb, Tammy's husband, actually planned to transfer from an Ohio facility to a clinic in Kentucky. But there seems to be some holdups because of some insurance issues. You guys know how that goes. It's definitely not easy to navigate. But it doesn't seem like he is taking the initiative. And Tammy allegedly is upset about that. So how are they going to make this situation work when they don't even live in the same state? And when you don't drive, you could live in the next town over and you might as well be in Europe. So I'm not sure what's actually going on with Tammy and whether this marriage is going to last. But based on her questionable relationships in the past, 
I don't have the highest hopes. A lot of people think that Caleb is just in it for 15 minutes of fame. But interestingly enough, at the same time that they are going through this alleged breakup, Amy and her husband Michael are going through a confirmed split. So Amy and Michael actually officially filed for divorce on March 13th, and they do have two children which does make the situation sad. But it's also being reported that Michael is actually seeking a civil restraining order right now. This coming in after it was actually reported last month that Amy got a protective order against Michael and alleged that he had become violent during an argument. It does seem as though these two have been having trouble in their relationship for about a year now, and Michael has actually also seeked out a civil restraining order. Basically, they would have to stay 500 feet away from each other at all times, and the only contact they can have is from a court-approved app. I'm guessing that that's like monitored, but I don't really know anything about that. And also, if approved, this restraining order would actually prevent Amy or Michael from speaking about this situation publicly now that they are kind of in the public eye. So that's what's going on with Tammy and Amy right now. Things aren't looking so good. There's definitely trouble in paradise, but our girls are TLC stars. I'm sure that they'll figure their way out of this sticky situation. Will they ever find love? You know, now being in the spotlight, that kind of adds another layer to the situation. I mean, in this day and age of people just just being so hungry for some kind of fame. It really does open them up to some people with some not so good intentions. But I do hope that our girls can find true love in the future. All right, you guys. So for the rest of the video, I thought we could do an update on Amberlynn's latest vlog that she put up today. This one was called Trolling Consequences, Tortilla Gate, and Kitchen Amazon Hall. Right off the bat, we can say she is definitely facing some consequences for her trolling over the years. Because girl... Nobody takes anything that she does seriously, and that's just the tea. You know what's interesting is that I think that many of the French fans have actually fallen off. Like, I don't see them anymore. <laughs> Amber says that she has been following the plan that her dietitian told her to do, but she has gained a pound and says that it is all because of water retention in her body. I feel like she should weigh in once a week. You know what I mean? And then if she is still gaining, clearly she is just not following the plan or she messed up somehow. This always leads Amber down the same path every time, and yet she continues on with the obsessive weigh-ins. Once a week, Get the scale. I feel like we could have a sodium scandal on our hands. Amber is so unique. No matter what she does, she just can't stop gaining, y'all. And she brings up the lipedema specialist. And didn't she stop doing what they told her to do? So our girl is counting calories now. But I do notice, and I wonder if this is on purpose, she's very vague about what she is actually doing to stay on track. I mean, old Amber would have shared every last detail of the dietitian's plan. So what is it? Or did she make that whole thing up? Feline is the dietitian, allegedly. Recently, people have been pulling up clips of Amber in the past talking about the binge monster compared to now where she claims not to have BED after just two sessions with a new therapist. She doesn't get ready with me to go, I don't know, sit around in the apartment. <laughs> Staying on the Slayton theme, Amber actually says that Amy Slayton reached out to her, which is interesting because they actually had a beef in the past. Amy made a video parodying Amber Lynn, making fun of her dark knuckles, and Amber fired back by calling them scammers. But it's nice to see that these ladies have set their differences aside. Because, I mean, both iconic, right? Legend. Amber does a taste test, and the food wasn't exactly what I would call appetizing. But funnily enough, if you take a look at her Instagram right now, she does a Q&A. None of these Q&A questions are really worth me sharing with you guys. But she goes on and on. It seems like a lot of people are asking her about the inconsistencies with her past and when it comes to BED. And people are also complaining that Amber never shows anything outside of the apartment. Amber claims that people that are asking about this are just trolls and that it's not going to help with her views if she does show outside of the apartment. People are just saying this because they want something to talk about. About. I think that at this point, this is her trying to punish her viewers because she did claim to leave the house today on Instagram. She's punishing us, especially with the six minute quesadilla rant. But at the end of the day, we know that she is only punishing herself. There have also been rumors that Feline is leaving, but it's mostly unfounded. With Chantal out of commission, will Amber cook up some drama? 
at the end of the video, Amber claims to have lost weight and her mood completely changes, but is saving that for a surprising way in episode. Amber addresses her trolling days and says that when she said that she was diagnosed with ASMR, people took that seriously, which it was found in an old clip of her called 50 Facts About Me. I saw this on Apathetic Facts where she accidentally mixed up ASMR with OCD, I think. Or did she just admit to trolling back at her crystal era? This goes deep. But nobody took her being diagnosed with ASMR seriously. I think the problem lies when she continuously deceived her viewers into thinking she was taking this seriously, something seriously, but the whole time it was just all a joke. And that's why to this day, nobody can look past that and they still see everything as a joke. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.